Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and another year has gone by where Call of Duty forgets what was really good about it back in the day. Now, don't get me wrong, Sledgehammer Games is doing some pretty damn incredible things when it comes to the post-launch support of Modern Warfare 3. They're doing such a good job that I'm hoping Treyarch has like their notepads out and they're writing this stuff down because they're doing a really good job over at Sledgehammer Games. That being said, however, some of the things I really loved about Call of Duty back in the day are nowhere to be found anymore, and you guys know where I'm going with this. I've already done a dozen videos on it in the past, of course, and beating a dead horse at this point, but Days of Summer, Call of Duty events, man, like, Modern Warfare 3 has had so many events added to it, but they're little mini events, basically, where you just kind of fill up an XP bar and then you get the reward. Recently, they had the Vacation Squad event, and in there, I didn't even know this was going on. Of course, I've been really busy lately, so I haven't been paying like the most attention in the entire world, but I did not know this was even happening. It was like a little seven day event, and I think it was supposed to be the Days of Summer event for Modern Warfare 3, ultimately giving you a toucan knife at the end of it. But comparing this, you know, I mean, like comparing an XP bar that you just have to fill up to the events that we had in years past, the two are not comparable. What we had in the glory days of Modern Warfare Master games like Call of Duty, World War II, even games like Black Ops 4 for crying out loud, which was not nearly as good as the previous ones in terms of event content, but still like the stuff that we had back then was so incredible. I looked forward to it every single year, and for some reason they've kind of done away with that here in COD. Of course, Season 5 is coming out. They revealed everything a couple of days ago, and one of those maps is going to be called Bait, which definitely is going to be like the summer-themed map of the game. But why not just take things a little bit further? Why not just bring back those classic events? I'm hoping that Treyarch does that, because it seems like over the course of the past couple of years, they've been really trying to bring back things that made older Call of Duty games feel so good and so interesting in conjunction with the newer stuff that they've been adding. For example, once again, the post launch support that we've had so far within Modern Warfare 3. It would be so fantastic if events like Days of Summer came back, Winter Siege came back, Shamrock and Awe for crying out loud, instead of just relegating them to becoming store bundles, you know? With Season 5, they're going to be doing a lot to the game, and the most notably for me as a Borderlands fan, having these cel-shaded multiplayer maps as kind of like this upgrade to like the bit party maps that we got last season, like, that seems really interesting, it really does, but going back to Black Ops 6, the fact that they're bringing back prestige mode, they're bringing back classic score streaks, not the stupid score streaks that we had back in Cold War, you know, they're bringing back a lot of things that we enjoyed about the older games, Modern Warfare 3 kind of started that by bringing back movement, dead silence, and minimap and stuff, Treyarch is following suit there. The events have to come back, man, because I'm telling you why, like, again, I've been a bit busy lately, so I'm not, like, able to cover every single little thing that comes out for COD or even X-Defiant, but I'll tell you what, I had no idea that vacation squad event thing it was even happening within Modern Warfare 3. I had no clue. People were like, hey man, there's like a toucan knife you can go for. I'm like, wait, what, really? I haven't heard anything about this. Nobody's been talking about it, but I think it's mostly because nobody in my circle plays Call of Duty anymore. They've kind of moved on. They're just kind of waiting for Black Ops 6. And I feel like a lot of people are probably in that same boat as well. I do have a lot of people that make comments on my videos saying that they've quit COD for the year, or they've quit COD in general, but they still watch the content because they enjoy it and they like to keep up with things, you know. I definitely think a lot of people are in that same boat and I think it comes down to a problem with Activision in terms of how that they are marketing their games and how they're going to try and keep fans excited in between those major updates. Again, Sledgehammer Games is doing a pretty good job of that so far, but just having Days of Summer not being here again, like it's confirmed it's not coming, rocking anything like it. We had the little toucan knife event, which was just fill up an XP bar, you have one week to do it, and then you're done, you know, compared to all the stuff that we had to do back in games like Modern Warfare Remastered and Call of Duty World War II. Like, bringing out a summer-themed map and then making specific challenges to complete on that map for different camos, different rewards. That was fantastic. You know, it just really seems like all the fun, and interesting things about COD in terms of events and things like that all went away when supply drops went away, which is mind boggling to me. You know, just eight years ago, this is going to like warp your entire perception of time, I suppose. But eight years ago, at this time, we were sitting here in the middle of summer like we are right now, anticipating the release of Modern Warfare Remastered. Then when that game came out, eventually they had all those events. Days of Summer came out. We all enjoyed that, you know, and now there's basically just nothing. And it's, it's just one of those things where it seems like things that were really good about the older games, for some reason, they just kind of get ready of that over time. They slowly phase that stuff out. And it, we've learned in the past there's no feature or no content too big for them to eventually just phase out of the franchise entirely, which is pretty crazy. You know, it's a 20-year-old franchise. I understand things have to change over time or things can definitely stagnate. But certain things have just been phased out, like the events, which I wish they would stay around. But of course, again, they got rid of the mini-map eventually. They got rid of footstep volume, or I guess I countered a footstep volume in the form of Ninja or Dead Silence. They got rid of a lot of the movement aspects of the game. Like, slowly they started 
to fade away that stuff, you know, 100 percenter. I used to love going for 100 percenter. I enjoyed that aspect of the game a ton. And then challenges, which used to be such a core staple of COD, just went away. They kind of replaced it with weapon camo challenges, which I get. There's more of a tangible reward there. People use their gun and see their gun way more than they see like calling cards or emblems or anything like that. But removing the challenges from the game made no sense. Removing prestige mode from the game made no sense. And now slowly but surely they're adding that stuff back. Though, unfortunately, I don't see them adding the events back anytime soon. It's possible with Treyarch's game. I suppose you never know when a new game comes out. I mean, the last couple of years have been very repetitive. I mean, two straight years of Modern Warfare. I mean, that's definitely going to be repetitive. Of course, the games are going to be very samey in a lot of aspects. And Sledgehammer did do a good job of trying to differentiate their game and their product from what Infinity Ward put out the year prior. But with Treyarch, they are just one giant question mark. You know, how is Treyarch going to go? And I should probably do a whole video on this in general because I have many ideas about it. But how will Treyarch handle moving on from David Vonderhaar? I know he's just one person. He's just one cog in the entire system. But David Vonderhaar for years was the face of Treyarch. And the fact that he's no longer there and does not have that leadership role there that he used to have. How is that going to change things? It definitely might. And Microsoft taking over as well. Will Microsoft from the top down push Activision and the Call of Duty Studios to do different things with the game to make things interesting in terms of events and things for people to look forward to outside of the typical seasonal system? I guess we're going to have to wait and see, guys. That is going to be the biggest thing about Black Ops 6 is it's going to be one giant question mark. And as of right now, we really don't know much about it. We're about a month away still, over a month away from the official multiplayer reveal of the game where they're going to do a deep dive into everything and really just shed light on all the new systems and the returning mechanics that are going to be coming to the game. But right now, they're being kind of secretive and right now, they're being kind of quiet in terms of what they're revealing to us. They showed us some things in terms of the omnidirectional movement, but that's pretty much it. You know, we know the movement's going to be different. We know Prestige Mode is coming back. We know Classic Score Streaks are coming back. Therefore, they're going to reset upon death. But aside from that, it's kind of just a big old question mark, I suppose. But going full circle here, back to the beginning of the video. Days of Summer is not here. I'm disappointed about that. I made some posts on Twitter and even like the little YouTube like posting things. Like I'm not even like aware of how that really works, but you can just make like normal like tweets almost via YouTube. I was making some posts about that and the sheer amount of nostalgia that was coming from the people replying to those posts, talking about the good old days of Days of Summer, grinding all the camos that they could while the event was active and enjoying the maps that were released as part of that event. You know, just trying to unlock everything, trying to do everything and not even just Days of Summer, but Winter Seeds, Shamrock and Awe, Halloween Scream which was freaking awesome back in Call of Duty World War II. You know, all that stuff seems to be gone. And that's a bit disappointing. It's one of those things where you kind of just have to take the bad with the good, because looking at Season 5, it looks like they're adding a pretty good amount of content to Modern Warfare 3, and it looks pretty nice, but I still can't help but feel like there's something missing, and that would be the big summer event that we used to look forward to every single year in COD that's no longer going to be part of it. Guys, that's it for this video here today. I mean, that's probably like my 10th video talking about days of summer. Every single summer, I have to dedicate at least one video to the fact that I used to love those events back in the day. We had a good run of like three or four years where we had them and then they just went away and that was really disappointing. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. Thank you all so much for listening and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.